Hey, welcome back to No Bands Gaming. My name is Corbin. We're playing Data Con Racing and we are going into Boulder Canyon. Fourth level and our conquest. A beat in this game. It's gonna take us a little bit, but we're getting there. It's the third recording session and I'm 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 making progress. Now I would say I'm about halfway through. I'm at, I'm I'm definitely about halfway through with the first uh the first playthrough. Uh for sure. Because then we have to then we do like a special, like a mirrored mode, I believe it's called. Oh, race the bridge. <laughs> so I didn't even did it, but if you hit that bridge, you can raise the the bridge and fuck everybody over. <laughs> awesome. Uh, but there's like a mirror mode, uh, second challenge of this uh, game that you can do. Uh, all right, I'm not doing very very good here. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Dodge that log. Ah! Conquer. Don't be an asshole. All right, here we go. Well, <laughs> well, that's one way of getting cross. All right, let's get it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think I fucked anybody over. I got. You got to get pretty far ahead to fuck him over, unfortunately. But it's cool. I love that option. I want. I wish. Uh, that's something I want to see more of. Platonic, do it. I know you're not watching these videos or reading my tweets. I I know, but please, do a remake or a, a spiritual successor to Diddy Kart Racing, please. More kart racers. More kart racers. We want it. We want it. I can't be the only one that wants the spiritual successor to Diddy Kart Racing. I know, probably in the minority, but you know, whatever. I'm <laughs> just not using those boots. I'm not using these boots right at all. All right, and they can screw conquer over. Yeah, yeah. I got somebody. That's what the ow is. Oh, well, the canyon's tight, man. No, conquer, conquer you. I am going to murder you. I wish you're in Super Smash Brothers so I can kick your ass, but that is not the case. Even though that'd be really cool, but. If you're gonna put Conquer in Smash 5, uh, you should put Banjo Kazooie in there. It's another Nintendo. You're not watching these videos either, but put Banjo Kazooie in Smash 5. Just do it. Get the rights uh, from from Microsoft because I believe they're the own the rights. Uh, or Rare does. I, I'm not. I'm not sure how that how, how that takeover works. I'm pretty sure Rare owns the rights, but it's on. They are they're owned by Microsoft, so yeah. So that'd be awesome. Banjo Kazooie would be fucking great in Smash Brothers. He would be um, they he ba he and her would be great. Their move set would be an awesome welcome to the game. Ah. There's a good chart out there with it that somebody leveled laid out their move sets. Uh, was it was really well done how they laid them out. They did a very good job. Plus, it's just be cool, man. Come on, he was, he was one of the most iconic uh, faces of the '64. Like, you, you can't like you can't not think of the N64, the holy console, without Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, that's it's impossible. I mean, no one ever thought that they're gonna outshine or Super Mario 64 is gonna get outshined. <laughs> Man, dude, Benji Kazooie and Tui came out, and then Conker's Bad Ferndin came out, Donkey Kong 64 came out. Oh, man, dude. I mean, I love Super Mario 64, don't get me wrong. And I will get back to Chaos. Oh, did I fuck anybody up? Nah, I almost did. Uh, I will get back to uh, uh, the, uh, the Chaos Edition of Super Mario 64 eventually. That's, that's, I, dude, I need breaks from that game. I need breaks from it. Like that thing is just—it's such an—it's uh, such a, an ass. It's such an ass to beat. It, it requires so much goddamn patience because at any point in time, anything can happen. The game can just say can say fuck you in so many different ways. It, it's it's great. It it's it's great. It's not great. It's great for you all because it's entertainment. And you can watch uh, people suffer. Um, but it's not great for me. There's so many. There's like. There's so many 
uh, Rob hacks a Super Mario 64. It's, it's insane. From like the co-op to the chaos, I uh, I uh, been wa I was watching uh, Pro Jared uh, play the Ocarina of Time Rom hack of uh, Super Mario 64, which looked really cool. I might jump on that as well and check that out. That is very intriguing. To what that is. Um, it's, it's like a it's like a whole new game almost. Uh, it, it's it's interesting. It's basically it's basically like Super Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time uh, levels. <laughs> Did I, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could still be locked on moving forward as you're like getting shot. That's awesome. Takes my coup. All right, get out of here with your ghost. Whoa. Okay then. All right. It, but still, that's a really that's a really cool run back. I definitely wanna wanna give that a shot. Get out of here, Badger. Yeah. Why don't you slip on my turtle goo? Slip on my turtle goo. I probably could use. I know I'm not using the green boost, but this level, as you can see, just launches you. It launches you so quick with the green boost, and it's very tight quarters. All right. Oh God! Just, just remember, remember that, remember that sound effect was. I'm gonna give you all nightmares. I'm gonna give you all nightmares. Oh man. Ah, uh, what was the other hack that I wanted to try? I wanted to do the Ocarina of Time randomizer. I've been trying out. Uh, cause I, I found like the way I can get about that game with the with some. Uh, what do you call them? What do you call it? Uh, sequence breaking, or whatever. Like, how to get into other areas without using certain items because you don't get it with the randomizer. Because it's not a really fleshed out randomizer. But I wanted to play play more Ocarina because I can't get around to. Uh, oh, man. Forgot about the dragon. Excellent. Actually, now I challenge you to a race. Dude, you need some chapstick. Look at those lips. <laughs> um, oh, look at them hop. It's adorable. Uh, but I want to play more Ocarina on the channel. Uh, that's right. This guy gets a big ass uh, loot uh, boost. But uh, my buddy Dre, he, you know, he's observed for you. He's got family and stuff, so it's hard for him to. Ah, uh, uh, oh, fuck. That's right. It's hard for him to uh, get get around to it, you know, and do that. Or get back to that Ocarina time playing through, which you know, we will we will someday. Uh, I'm just fucking up here. Uh, we'll get back to this someday. But I wanted to do that, and I don't want to do just the actual game without him. So, I figured, like, why not do that randomizer? I was having a lot of fun with it. I almost got, uh, one of the goals I set out to do when I was trying it out. I was like, I wanted to get, uh, I want to get all three, uh, stones. Um, I forgot, I forgot what button was what for a second there. I want to get all three of the, of the spirit stones. Uh, with, before I meet Zelda, because I thought that would be interesting. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the get to her. She's like, it's like, Link, you need these three stones to open up the temple, the door of the Temple of Time. He's like, you mean these three? Oh my god. I'm doing all that stuff up, though. I, I mean, I know there won't be any kind of different dialogue. This isn't Skyrim, like, where you meet Parthenax, uh, where if you meet Parthenax, uh, after you've done the storyline... Uh, the Dawnguard DLC, where you get another Elder Scroll, and one of the options is like when part of the next asks you that you, that you need a um, you need an Elder Scroll to do you know the story, and like one of the options literally is like you mean this? It's like oh that mystical item that's completely rare and nobody else has. Like you mean this thing? I got yeah dude, I I got one right here. I got a spare one. No problem. I got you. <laughs> I know, like, Zelda's not going to say anything like that, obviously, but I think it'd be interesting to see what happens, because, like, if I go into the castle with all three stones, like, wouldn't I just get the cutscene, uh, like, right after, like, w you know, the cutscene, uh, or whatever, like, right at, like, I don't know, like, wouldn't I, or wouldn't I be able to, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't get the cutscene of, uh, yeah, I would get the cutscene, like, of the, I would just, of the Ocarina of Time or whatever, right? Wouldn't I just get that, or would I have to go into the Temple of Time? Wouldn't it, or if I just go into the Temple of Time, that would be it, right? 
I would have to, uh... I would have to go out of the castle and get the Ocarina of Time, then go back in the Temple of Time, and then do that. I believe is what happened. But I believe I would, I would just negate that and just get it automatically, because I can have all three. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious how that would work. I just thought it'd be really cool. But it, it, it's fun. And I know Ocarina of Time uh, well enough to do the randomizer. Uh, and by, when I was playing before, I learned some sequence breaking and, and hacks to get past certain areas because I didn't have items. Because really, the only item uh, that I need... Dude, get some chapstick. Like, your lips are so chapped. You're a dragon. I understand you're a dragon and, like, you have dry skin and stuff because you have scales. But, like, yo, get some chapstick. Then come back. <laughs> then come back. I love it. Oh, man. Uh, but I, I know it well enough to get around to where I need to go and know where chests are and stuff like that. And it's really the only items I need to get to get to all three dungeons. I need deck you six uh, to get past a uh, certain to get through all the way through uh, the deck you tree. I need that. And I need bombs uh, to get into to get to get past uh, certain certain parts of um, uh, the dungo the dungo's uh, level or whatever or something like that. Do I? Can't remember. I know I need I know I know deck you six is very important. I don't know if I need bombs because if I get the Goron bracelet, I just have uh, uh, I had you know I had yeah the bomb flowers, but. I do need the the bomb shoes is uh, super super helpful. Ow, you butts! I'm not paying attention. Ooh, I forgot about the pair All right, so where are all these? I, I was I was rambling, so I didn't figure out where all the all of them were. Where 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 where? All right, one right here. Got your banjo. See, look at that recovery. It's such shit. It just bounces around and gets forward. Um, one's like right... Yeah, one's right here. It's way out of the way. So, I believe I found them all except for one, which I think is like right on the edge of the finish line or so. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, cool. So, I found where they all were. So, let's focus. So now I get all track talking about Zelda and randomizer and blah 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 blah. Kinda need a focus <laughs> to make sure I get them all. Requires a little bit of focus. Alright, got that one. Ooh my god with this missiles. Ah, oh, almost got him. Fine, it's fine, no worries, no worries. Cool. We won't get that one. We'll, 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 we, we need to get ahead of these assholes first. There we go. Yeah, we'll get we'll get that one later on too. We need to get ahead of Vector. Ah, not cool. Oh, I thought I could get ahead of him. Man, Vector's pretty far ahead now, though. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, next episode, we will continue this and just do more of the Silver Coin Challenge. The thing that we've been doing this whole time and every other level. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.